We're here in Barcelona with Jason Sanders, streamer for Orient Express Racing Team. Jason, streaming in Portside today, beautiful southwest wind with a bit of swell from the south, long line out with regular stop and go. Can you please tell us what were the goals for today and if you managed to achieve them? Yeah, um, so really nice conditions today. Uh, pretty flat water for Barcelona, so uh, you could see all the boats ripping around. It was beautiful sailing. Uh, the goal today was to try and uh, test out some modes uh, sailing the boat, um, just varying different cant angles and, and the way we're sailing the boat. Um, and then at the end we were hoping to do some more manoeuvres and uh, sort of go up and down and, and test, test all the manoeuvres out in the playbook. Yeah, so by the end of the session you had a nose diving when going downwind and after some checks by the technicians you decide to call the day over. Did the HMIs got wet or can you please tell us what happened? Uh, yeah, we had a problem, not sure exactly what, with, um, with one of the controls um, on the starboard side, which is why we had the nosedive. Um, and then afterwards we weren't, weren't able to figure out exactly uh, how to fix it. So yeah, that was the end of the session, unfortunately. But uh, we had some good sailing today as well already before that. So you know, we're getting slowly more reliable. Um, it's such complex boats so that we're always going to have some problems to start with, and the, and the guys are working through it as best as they can. Yeah. Are you having any stress limits for the rig and hull you must control during the commissioning period? Yeah, we've got limits, um, yep, absolutely. So we've been slowly going through and, and testing the limits and everything, and at the moment there's been no problems, it's all been going well. After Alinghi broke the mast, did you got any kind of advice from the mast supplier or maybe just a debrief with the engineering team to avoid to be exposed to such a kind of risk in the windy days? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, we looked at it and uh, it was pretty scary to see. Uh, we were happy that they're all okay, but man, it was a wake-up call for everyone. So uh, we've certainly been uh, discussing um, how to avoid any, any such issues and, and make sure our technique's good for the strong wind bearaways. During the morning checks on the aero systems, we could see synchronized movements in between mass rotation and main sheet system. So we understood they are linked. What's the benefit uh, for that link? Uh, you have to ask the. Uh, the helm's a bit more about that. Uh, I don't know exactly. We're trying to we're trying to play around with a lot of the systems, um, and we're checking things on the dock a lot. And some of the times it's just it's just to, actually for a testing process on the dock, um, not not necessarily for sailing. So um, yeah, that's, uh, that's uh. to finish. Uh, this point of the gap in terms of recon, where is your focus over the other teams? Yeah, our focus, uh, we've been checking everything out, to be honest. The recon's been super important, um, especially because we haven't been out sailing as much. So uh, we spent a lot of time looking at everyone sailing, and uh, we've learned quite a lot, um, just in terms of basic things uh, all the way through to uh, some performance things as well. So it's been, it's been pretty good, helpful for us. Thanks so much for your time, Jason. No worries. Thanks. Thanks.